Hey everyone, and welcome to another hobby vlog video. So, I have a first here. A couple of firsts, really. One, this is the first time I'm shooting in my anti-light box. <clears throat> so, uh, what I did here was I bought some of that Musso Black paint off Amazon. It's that paint that absorbs 99.6% of all visible light. I figured, okay, I'm going to make an anti-light box with it. So, in theory, the only light that is being reflected back to the camera is from my minis. Uh, I I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm think I think it looks pretty good so far. So... We'll see how this goes. So, as you guys can see, my entry for y'all today is the Hearthkin, her, not Hearthkin, Hernkin Jaegers. So, these were the models that when the Leagues of Votan were first uh, premiered, were first shown off, that when I saw the Hernkin Pioneers, the ones on the bikes, the first thing I thought was, oh, I hope they get a foot infantry that looks like this. These explorers. And next edition comes around and Kill Team delivers the Hernkin Jaegers. And it does not disappoint. This is a great kit. But so let's just take a quick look. So here's the thing for the Jaegers. I went with a very dark color for their cloaks. Also, I, wor I worked with mixing paints to get some custom colors in here for them. Overall, I, I really like how this thing came out, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with this fucking box. Um, so what I did was I built a 5-in-5 five five loadout. Five with bolt shotguns, five with plasma knives, for the sake of kill team. But I plan on getting at least one more box of these guys. And if that's the case, I'll build five and five again, so I have one... <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. One box that's bolt shotguns, and one case that's plasma knives and pistols. I'm going to get at least one more box. Um... But yeah, I gotta say though, I think my favorite model is this one, the Bombast. Wow. You know, the one it won't focus on? There we go. That was weird. It wouldn't focus on him. Yeah, he's known as the Bombast in Kill Team. Why? I I'm gonna be honest, I don't fucking know, but... The dual pistol loadout looks so cool, and to my surprise, when I was modeling him, this is actually a bolt shotgun loadout. So, he actually goes in the bolt shotgun team. I thought he would be, like, melee or something, since he didn't have, like, a visible knife, but he wasn't wielding a bolt shotgun either, but he is wielding pistols. I figured, okay, so he must be, like, a pistol and knife guy, but no. He's got a bolt shotgun, so that's cool. He will be a bolt part of the bolt shotgun squad. But yeah, my second favorite model is the Thane, but this is my third favorite. Someone else it won't focus on, apparently. The Blade Master, I think it's called. It's just a cool pose with the dual knives. This one is obviously a knife and pistol build. Yeah, these guys are, uh, yeah, they, these ones are really cool. So, just like with the uh, Berserks, I went out of my way to make a bunch of different skin tones for my guys, and I don't regret it, came out really good. Also, a cool thing about the Jaegers kit is, unlike everything else, you get two Ironkin heads. Two Ironkin heads, that's, that's so damn good. Um, I did build this squad with the AMP launcher, that's that Ironkin in the back, and the Magna Coil rifle, right there. 
uh, that will go whenever I play it in uh, 40k, that will go as part of the uh, bolt shotgun squad. So my bolt shotgun ones are the Thane, the Bombast, these two back here, and that Ironkin there. Since both my Ironkin are bolt shotguns in this squad, I think uh, I'll have two m pistol and knife ones for my second box whenever I get one. But yeah. Let's just do a quick round out. This one I wanted to go with that fiery red hair. I'm not entirely sold on it, but it's not bad. Yeah, now this has been... The, this box took a long time to paint. There's so many little details that I want to differentiate. Like, okay, um, my pouches and everything. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. It's just not going to focus on him, huh? Let's see. Can I get it to focus? Yeah, so with the pouches and straps and everything, you'd see I went with a khaki color. But this bag, the canvas bag, that green is a custom color. I got that by mixing uh, Pro Curl's um, khaki with camo green to give it a bit more of a beigey canvas look. And I think it turned out really good. I did it across the whole unit. But yeah, like, as good as this came out, like, th this, this box was kind of a pain in the ass to paint. Because there's so many little details that you got to get into. So much leather bits you got to work around. It's, it just, it takes a while. But I do not, I'm, I'm, I don't regret doing it. Because I think the outcome was great. But yeah, so let me just move him back into position. So now, if you'll give me one minute, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you my next project. And it's a big one for me in a, in a way you might not know. Right back. And as you can see, I picked up that limited edition uh, Iron Here Champion model, the Ancestor's Wrath. So this is just kind of a fucking badass sculpt. Get a close up on that. The shield in the hand, the hammer in the other, very reminiscent of the Indominus Captain. But the difference with this is I actually plan to do a painting tutorial video for y'all. I think I'm actually going to give you guys a tutorial on how I paint my Trans-Hyperion Alliance Leagues of Votan. And I'm going to do it using this model. So, all goes well. It should The video still should be up on Wednesday next week. But, yeah, it's going to be big. So far, I've only done tutorials on bases, so I'm kind of excited to do this one, but also nervous. But yeah, overall, yeah, overall excited. So, let me know what you guys, let me know what you guys think of the, my uh, Hernkin Jaeger models from a minute ago. And, uh, is this, is this tutorial video something you'll actually tune into? I don't know. I feel like it might actually garner me a bunch of new views from people who aren't part of the channel because people will look up painting tutorials for lore established stuff. So, who knows? This next video could be pretty good for me. But, yeah. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.